Oh, sure. You'll be okay. You'll forget about it in no time. Hello, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, happy Wednesday. I could technically call these fancy dancy ice cream sandwiches, right? Because they, that's what they are. Well, yeah, I guess kind of <clears> in a sense. Good humor, strawberry shortcake stuffed French toast, aka fancy dancy uh, ice cream sandwiches. I think this is gonna be ice cream French toast. Ice cream French toast. I think this is gonna be really good. And guess what I found in the closet? I still had some. I thought I used them. <sighs> Hello, Chastity. How are you, girl? Hi, Chastity. How are you? Wednesday nights is becoming my French toast night. Don't worry, I'll eventually get sick of French uh, toast and then I'll move on to Sloppy Joe's or something. Hello, Trisha. Hello, Trish. How are you, girl? No Sloppy Joe's tonight, Justin. No, I meant to say pancakes. But I read your comment, Sloppy Joe's. Trisha, did you see the video? What do you think about these bad boys? Six slices, three sandwiches, three ice cream bars. You, hey, you, Mary. I made you one French toast. Hello, baby. My people. There you go. Hello, Looks good. Beach girl. How, hey, are, how are you doing, girl? We're eating early tonight. A little bit. I how had, is everybody? I had, We're good. I had pizza in bed uh, for wrestling, so I guess. Wednesday nights is, is technically turning into like an earlier version of our show. What's Khaki having? I'll let her tell you. So, well, huh, my dinner was supposed to be chicken parmesan, but what I pulled out of the freezer, which I thought was a chicken breast, was not a chicken breast. It was a turkey loin. So, huh, I just made some pasta with some mushrooms, onions, and spinach. And then top of lots of cheese. What's up, Christy Powell? And then I have a little garlic bread pieces. Looks good. Hey, JK, what's up, Chris Smith? Yeah, I'm, uh, listen, I had a pizza. I ate all of it. Eight slices, oh, with hello, the exception of all the crust. But um, I still have a sweet, you know, like a sweet tooth. Looks great. What's up, M Stamp? Abby actually just messaged me what's up, as man? we were talking. And she said that she wasn't making the line because she's in so much pain. Oh, Abby, I'm so sorry, girl. Not a problem. I hope you feel better. As hope do I. Hope you feel I. better. Hopefully you're in here tomorrow letting us know how you're feeling. What's up, Kelly? Got milk. Yeah, Jamie's got milk. I don't drink milk. I think milk's gross, but... Strawberry shortcakes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Ice, the, the <laughs> French, Hello, Matt. French how toast ice cream sandwiches. Good evening, New York. Good evening, ladies and gents. What's up, John? Hello, John. How are you? Hello, Kelly McDonald. Hello, Mama Pert. There's so many people. I'm sorry. I can't say hello to every single person. Hi, guys. What's up, Dennis Hello, Brady? Dennis. First couple of Game minutes. boy. It's... Hey, dude. Good morning from Germany. Have a nice meal. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is, de this is technically a dessert. Like, I... I uh, well, this is my dinner. I had no company in bed tonight watching wrestling like I have had these last couple of weeks. So, it was just me and pizza. Uh, Messi or Ronaldo? Don't know what that means. You don't drink milk either? Even with like gooey brownies or cookies or I cake? don't like milk. I think milk is disgusting. So I'm glad I'm not alone in that. Milk is nasty. It's nasty. A lot of people think that. I've, you know what? I've been a milk kid my whole life, so me and my brothers it's it's normal for oh, us oh hello shirley you love hello, milk? milk no puppies not tonight oh, let's cross our fingers they don't come down not yet the night is still young <laughs> mama pert says what no soccer no soccer what about soccer i know there's playoffs going on we don't watch soccer yeah so we don't watch soccer i couldn't tell you I couldn't tell you who's playing in the playoffs. I couldn't tell you when the playoffs are. And I couldn't tell you who won if it's over. <laughs> my cousin you, and, my, and my aunt and uncle. <coughs> my godmother. Oh, they're, they're huge on soccer. They're soccer people. But me? Huge on no, soccer. I, I like to play it more. Does your food ever get cold with you guys? Wait for it. No, it's, it stays in the oven. Yeah, it sits in the oven. Typically, I'll usually have like a pan... And I'll have the top still on, so when I do eat, I 
pick up the pan, you see the steam coming. Uh, Ricky's segment was fire. Yeah, AEW tonight. I thought it was good. Because of the taste, turns out it was the cheap milk. I tried organic milk. My goodness, it's delicious. Is that why you don't like cheap milk? Have you ever had organic milk? He said it's delicious. I've only had regular milk, and I don't like how it tastes. But you like a milkshake. Yeah, but that's never that's ice cream. Which is, there's milk in it. But it's ice cream. That's like people that say like I don't like onions, but I eat onion rings. It's like the same thing. <sighs> What's up, big doggy? Strawberry shortcake stuffed French toast. Um. So yeah, that's what I'm having tonight. I got hello one, kitty Kate. I got one and a half shakes left, and then I'll be uh. Be See now, to business. Beach girl, I like almond milk. I like almond milk. I've had almond milk, but I can't just drink a cup of almond milk. No, neither, I, neither can I. I can't just drink a cup of almond milk. I can't do it. If it's in something like, that I make, like, oh, I'll put almond milk like in a shake or whatever, like I'll drink it like that, but like I just can't have a cup of white. Uh, I can't. Uh, it's just gross. Did someone, <laughs> did someone big in wrestling have a heart attack today? Question mark. I know, I don't know about today, I know Barry Windham had a, had a heart attack on it's good Friday with, night. Let's go with Oreos. I'm sure it is. <clears throat> Hello, I'm folks. Sure it is. Hello, Anne. Know, Hello, Anne. You eating strawberry shortcake bars after or you use them all? These strawberry shortcakes are inside the French yeah, toast. Yeah, there's no more. There's I post no more. He, they're, in his, they're in his French toast. I, I put it in the French toast. Neither one of you look healthy at all. <laughs> drop, drop, drop dread 72. Let's click on her profile and mm -hmm. see what she looks like. Okay. Definitely not a real person. Definitely seen that profile picture before. Ah, troll. Mm-hmm. You're a troll. Guess what? You're probably a dude with big hairy balls. <laughs> I bet you're not even a girl. I bet probably you not even a girl. I bet you're someone that we know and you're just making fun of us. Definitely seen that profile picture before. Hello, Kelly. How are you, girl? I'm not going to block you. I'm going to let you live. For now. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You both also make me feel like family, the healthy enough for me. Ah, thank you. Uh, uh, health eating like that, honest question. Are, am I worried? No. No. No, no, no. Basement trolls... Maybe Trisha. Oh, basement trolls back. Oh no. No, no, no. no. Well, we can't always. Family, eat. that's healthy enough for me. Thank you, Nick. Nick Hercules. That? that sounds like a toy hidden floor. <sighs> you guys look great to me. Thank you very much. Well, we're not. Listen, we're not entering any beauty contest anytime soon. Queen, what is that? Look so far. <sighs> so I just had pasta. I was supposed to make chicken parm. I did not pull chicken out of the freezer. Unfortunately, I thought it was chicken. It was turkey, so I just made some protein pasta What's up, with Penny? some peppers, onions, mushrooms, and some spinach. And then I made a little bit of garlic bread. Did you do that? What? What I, asked, what I said to do? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We've seen that thumbnail before. Yes, many times. So that's how we know it's somebody from... That's how we know it's a basement troll. Well, not necessarily a basement troll. That's how we know it's somebody from the past. You could enter a beauty contest. I think you're both very good looking. You know what, Beach Girl? I was actually in a beauty contest back in, like, when I was, like, 16 years old. I, I was. was. I was not. I was in a beauty contest. I didn't win. But I still did it. It's, like, a memory, and I, I thought it was cool. That looks amazing, Kaki. Thank did you. Did you show them what you have? I just did. Okay. Kaki burned herself before. Mm. So... I was boiling my water and I just had to put, which I never do, put a lid on top of the water. Never do that. And then it was boiling, so I went to lift it. My dumbass. Went to lift Nelson? it off the freaking stove, the lid, which is metal. Wasn't thinking. Lifted it and then seared both of my fingertips. And I don't, you probably can't see it, but you'll see it tomorrow. I'm sure there'll be blisters, but. I literally made a face, and I did try not to drop it on the floor, and I flung it into the sink. 
What's up, John? Uh, M? Yeah, ouch. Yeah, ouch. Where has Court been? Is he good? <laughs> Cortland was in here last night. Yeah, he was he? just here. He was just in here. Cortland might miss a couple of dinners, but he, it's not like he disappears, disappears for weeks or months at a time. He's. They look red. They are really red. They're going to be really blistered. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I did ice it, Kelly. I did. I iced it. <coughs> One to it ten. Won't matter. One to ten, Chico. What am I rating this? Anybody wanna? I'm gonna say a nine. Nine? Mm-hmm. They look like they'd be a nine. Sup, ninjas. Hello, Katrina. Hi, Katrina. Eight. 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 Hello, Nelson. How are you? Can't give I burn myself. I don't need a knife. Yeah, I cut it in the same way. It sucks, Nelson. I literally felt my skin sizzle, but I didn't want to drop the freaking glass lid on the floor. If I flung it into the freaking sink. It's not. I could care less if it flung into the sink. It's not a date. No? No. It's not really? a Really? It's not a 10 either, but it's pretty damn close. It's 9.8. This is better. Oh, I said an 8. This is better than the pumpkin pie. This is better than the cheesecake one. This is a home run. It's better than the pumpkin pie? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I try a bite then? I want to no. try it. Okay. I guess I'll fuck myself. Here you go. <laughs> Just playing around. I know. Does I'm it need the here. crumble Ritz crackers? Ah, uh, you know what, Trish? That would probably make it, that would mm. probably make it better. But I just, I think this is better than the cheesecake I, one, and I think it's better than the pumpkin pie one. Mm, I would say it's just as good as the pumpkin pie one. I think it's better. You gotta remember, I'm also not the biggest pumpkin pie fan. I, I love pumpkin pie. Gotta go, have a good night. Good night, Kimmy. Uh, good night, Kimmy. Thank you for stopping in, girl. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You know what? It gives it extra flavor. And if anybody tries to do this, here's what I would suggest. I don't know if, you know, if you like to put butter on your pancakes or put butter on your on your French toast or waffles after it's cooked, but put a nice piece of butter on and rub around so you get a little piece of the butter taste in each bite. Very good. Very, very good. It would be easier for me. Can't have strawberries. Oh, that sucks. Are you allergic? Yeah, that's this stink. What's up, Amanda? Oh, hello, Amanda. How are you? Nelson was baking cookies and he took the pan out, took the cookies off the pan, and my dumb self forgot it just came out. I went to wash it. I've done that, Nelson. I've done that before. I totally forgot it came out. <laughs> and then grabbed it. You need to eat more protein, dude. Do you know my protein numbers? I mean, I do share them on my Instagram stories sometimes. But... You want to take a guess of what my protein intake is? I'm not being rude. I'm just asking for you to give me. What do you think I take in? And I'll be honest with you. Hello, Molly. How are you, bro? Mm -mm 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 -mm. 32 grams of protein a day? 500 grams? No and no. No. I'll take in anywhere from 140 grams of protein up until two, up to 200 grams of protein a day. I don't know where those small numbers are coming in. 500 is a, is, is a bit much. That's definitely no. Peanut butter and jelly French toast sounds good. I've mm. done it before. I don't like hot peanut butter. I do though. Yeah. I like hot peanut butter. Uh when she started crying, I was like, great. Oh, Nelson. Uh, <laughs> how do you get the protein? Different different ways. I mean, lately I've been... So lately, um, eggs and ground turkey has been my main source. Oh, I've never tried pad thai. Crazy. What's up, Dennis? Okay. Hello, Dennis K. Does he take you on dates? That's a question for you. I love peanut butter and waffles. Does he take me on dates? Yeah, meaning me. Do I take mm -hmm. you on dates? You're it's looking at It's been a while. 
Yeah, no, you're looking at our date. This is what we do every night. It's been a while since we've gone to the city. Yeah, we're due. We've gone on a, like a, a date date. Yeah. We don't go, we don't go out. But we need to. I'm not against it. I know. How many grams of protein in eggs? Depends. I usually use a large egg and it's, I think, 70 calories. Yeah, the large eggs are 70 and then the jumbo ones, I think, are 90. Yeah. Grilled cheese with pizza sauce and pepperoni sounds good. Sure it does. <laughs> oh, she started rolling over. Oh, Nelson. She's getting so big. Once they start rolling, it's all over. Because then they're going to start crawling. Oh, once they start doing little... And after they start crawling, they're going to start walking. I was going to say, once they start doing then little they're gonna dances, run. like they got, you know, a filled up diaper. <laughs> we were literally just watching a video of our son for like, from like when he was like two years old. That I posted to Facebook. It popped up on my memories. And he was so little, and he had like little wild caveman hair, and he was just like with his little diaper, bouncing up and down, like shaking his little butt. It was like the cutest thing ever. Go see the tree. If we get to go to the city before Christmas, Trish, we are. Yeah, I want to go see the tree. I say this every single year. I want to go see the damn Christmas tree. I want to see it. Thank you, Katrina. I do. That's like something I've wanted to do like my entire life, and I've never done it. Mm -mm -mm. You guys are cute. Nothing but love. Well, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I only get in 80 grams of protein. I drink a protein shake and... Cottage cheese has a lot of protein. Has a, well, has a lot of protein. Once you start focus, if anybody's struggling to get not just protein in, but potassium, I know is a big one that people struggle to get in. Once you start focusing on that individual... Uh, macro, macro or micro, yeah. whatever it is, you'll find little tricks to, to get it in. And I've been doing this for five years now, so I kind of know where I need to, where I need to be, with, like with it, with certain ingredients. You gonna be full after that? I was full before eating this. I had pizza in bed tonight, so this was. Yeah, Jimmy ate a whole pizza. This was strictly to go to bed. Um, happy, like a midnight snack. <laughs> Plus, I think the video came out pretty good. Nelson, you never seen the tree either? That's how you know you're from New York. Yeah. You don't go see the tree. Well, Trish is from New York. I'm sure she's seen the tree. Yeah, well, Trish lives closer to the tree than we do. Mm -hmm. And that's also why I only made three sandwiches tonight. You eat during the day, LOL? Um, mm -hmm. Lately, no. Today, I, I had, well, tonight I had pizza in bed. Well, today I had a soft pretzel. Because I was craving a soft pretzel. So. My diet is always changing. Always. It's never, I think I'm going to stick to what I'm doing right now for a little bit. And uh, I have a game plan. Have you ever... Been to up the statue in... of Liberty. No. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Never been to the Statue of Liberty. Nope. We passed it on a cruise ship. Passed on a cruise ship. I went on a. I guess it was like a cruise down the ha the Hudson for like my prom, and we passed the. We passed the, um, the Statue of Liberty, but that's as close as I got. Uh, no problem, Allie. We like I'm doing this. I've never been to the Statue of Liberty. I don't think I would want to go. What do you I do? I would love to go. What do you do? I would love to just go there and see, like, all of, like, the cool, like... The cool things are, like, the, um... Like, flip through, like, the books and, like, see who signed it. And, like, they came in, like, immigrated here and, like, through there. And, like, I don't know. I think that would be awesome. Ever smoke? Gaza? No. Mm. What is Gaza? I don't know. But I've never smoked Gaza. I, yeah, I couldn't. I, I'm only going to say no. I don't know what Gaza is, but I've never smoked it, it. Climb to the very top? Mm -hmm. Nope, not my cup of tea. I'm afraid of heights. 
See, I would love to do that. It was a school trip in elementary school. Mm -hmm. And that was supposed to be our school trip in fifth grade, Trish. But for whatever reason, they decided to do a Broadway show and like a lunch at like an Italian <laughs> restaurant. The devil's lettuce. <laughs> oh, well, the devil's lettuce. Now I know what you're talking about. And yes, I have, but I don't do it anymore. But we were supposed to do that, but then they changed it to like a Broadway show and, and lunch like in the city. Uh, hi. Hello. Uh, what announcement? I don't know. I don't have any announcements. What announcement? Today. Not that I can, I can't say anything. I, I haven't said I was going to have an announcement. Nothing I could share yet. Nope. Favorite snack to make or you made? Oh, God. Zaza is the name. Of, well, that's a new name for it. So that's a new slang name. So we're not good on slang. We're kind of old, so. <laughs> we're not good on the new terms for things. Do you have a... One big meal a day. Usually, yeah. Um, favorite snack to make or that I've made before? Um, I don't know. I don't really make snacks. I more make meals. My favorite snack is just to have like Cheetos in bed. A bunch of dumb slang names. Yeah, I think so. A bunch of dumb slang names. I've been high for 30 years and hitting the pipe now. <laughs> Good deal, John. Yeah, here's the deal. We're not we're not against it. We just don't do it. I used to do it. I used to smoke it all the time, but I haven't done that in like since before our kids were born. <laughs> long, long, long time ago. I never in a faraway land. I never got into that. I went through a phase when I was in school. And then my brothers went through a phase. Um but I never did it with them. I've never really liked it. I liked other stuff, but never the, you know, the gaja. You're not old. Well, thank you, Whitney. I never did it in high school. I started in college. That's when I tried it. For the first time. And then I tried it again and again and again and again. I kind of liked it, but then I was like, no, I never liked the way it made my throat it. feel. Uh, and then John says, I don't drink or smoke cigarettes. That's good. I think I'm taking a nice break from drinking, too. I don't think I'm going to have any alcohol until me and Kat goes to the city. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never tried that. And I don't think I ever will. <laughs> my hands and back, it's my go-to for pain relief. Understood that. I get it. Hey, John, let me ask you a question. I hear it's an amazing pain reliever. I've never done it for pain. <clears throat> you know, I did it when I was younger. After doing it, how long until the pain goes away, and how long does it take away the <laughs> take away the pain? Out of all the things I've tried, <laughs> for my knees, for my legs, for my me being sore all the time, I've never done that. I also think like CBD would probably help you. I don't know. Have you ever heard of someone allergic, allergic to that? No. To never Z heard of somebody allergic to marijuana, no. That says Zara. I know, that's what we just clarified that weed is Zara. Okay. That's like the new term for it. Okay. Never heard of somebody being allergic to it. Yeah, I'm guessing <laughs> strawberry French toast was a success. A you hours. clean your plate. <laughs> strawberry French toast was really good. I I gave it a high rating, nine point eight, I believe. It doubled yeah, it for a couple good. of hours. Hmm. See, I don't know. I've never tried the cream or the gummies. So, well, I, I don't think you should try, like, the actual, like, drug itself. I think you should try, like, CBD products. Yeah. 
Gummies. Yeah. Well, no, they make weed gummies, and then they make CBD gummies. There's different types of gummies. Whatever would do the trick. Whatever would do the trick. I, I find it hard to believe that a cream is going to take away... You know, a CBD cream is going to take away my pain. My aunt swears by it. Could be wrong. My aunt swears by it. She had somebody that, like, made her homemade... CBD cream Which and like aunt? my aunt Melinda she was in a really bad car accident and she used it all the time and she said it helped her a uh, lot knees and joints hurt due to inflammation certain foods aggravate inflammation gummies, gummies help, help symptoms. symptoms my so my knees my knees have been pretty damn bad this this whole week so and they're probably going to be bad tomorrow how's your tooth it fell out <laughs> it fell out so i haven't had it just any. fell out so it's fine now i thought it was a cheeto that was stuck over there and i kept on messing with it and the, and the piece of tooth came out still got to be careful with it i still eventually need to go to the dentist CBD won't make you high. It's the THC See that will. that will. Yeah, I think the CBD helps with pain. Hello, Liddy. I just, I don't want to get, I'm not looking to get high. I'm I'm looking just to get, take away Who's the pain. Who's looking for pain relief? Yeah, I don't need that. That's why I think the CBD will help you. Mm, something to look into. My family is in the CBD to American shaman stores, but I prefer the real stuff for the pain. Gotcha. Hello, Liddy Lou. How are you, girl? Hey, Liddy. I'm sorry, I'm eating slow. I ate dinner already. I had. To, I just had basically dessert. So. I'm... I know you freaking. That was damn delicious. I know it was. I'm trying not to eat slow. If I didn't <laughs> eat a pizza, I probably could have eaten five more sandwiches. It's worth trying to see. Do you know what though? The C B C B D is expensive. Right? And I'm afraid to buy it and it not work and then feel like I just wasted my money. That's my only concern. Because I know it's 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 up there with pricing. The guy from my vape shop tried selling me some couple of years ago and Oh the the juice, right? No, he tried No, that was years ago. That was for to help me go to sleep. That was when I first started to drink is quit drinking. He tried Offering me to, to to try the cream years ago when my, when my knee thing first happened. Can you switch out running shoes? What do you mean? I do switch oh, out. Hello, I do switch out running shoes from you know, like the the ones that I've been wearing lately. Um, I got last year but i only wore them for a little bit yeah trish i think so they're like new shoes the, i think he should try the cbd to be honest these new running shoes that i'm probably getting in march are sick they are really cool really expensive though hopefully they don't sell out hello april how are you guys doing we're good we're good girl how are you doing how are you did the swelling in the ankle go down? That's a good question. It's my ankle's still bad, but not as bad. Hello, doll. I know that. Oh, could, hello, doll. How are you, girl? That side by side with, with my swollen ankle was. The first time I saw that before I even took the picture for you, I was just like, oh my god. I'm like, I'm like, because I've had, I had. Like a that's a big ankle. Swollen. That was a big ankle. Like your ankle was so bad. You're supposed to switch shoes every week. Alternate, if possible, throw away after 400 miles. I throw, I don't throw any of my running shoes away. I put them in a shoe box. Uh, and they stay in like one of the corner of my bedroom. I stop using them, but I don't, I don't throw any of, if I, if I took a pair of shoes to the absolute ringer, I keep them. And they go into the shoe oh, box. like little tr shoe trophies. They're in, in my corner, in the upstairs, on the <laughs> side of the bed. Like full shoe trophies. Hello, doll. Have a good day, thanks. How was yours? Uh, my day was okay. It wasn't bad. 
You should see the first pair of shoes that I really did a number on. The whole bottom is like warped. There's a tiny little like uh, you can see like if I were to keep on pushing at it, it would you, you know you could break through it. Well, guys, I'm gonna call it a night. Have a good one. You too. Um, oh, you have a good night too, Anne. Thank you for coming in. Thank yep. you for stopping here. We're just hanging out talking. I'm not eating anymore. And the pair of Under Armors that you bought me, I think it was like last year. Mm -hmm. Have a bunch of holes in them. A bunch of holes. And I don't even run in them. I no, just walk. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just walk in them. You got some rough feet then. They lasted a hell of a lot longer than the Brooks did. The Brooks did not last like a few months. Under Armour's at least lasted a year. I'll be right back, guys. Where are you going? I gotta pee. Oh, okay. So yeah, the pair of Under Armour shoes that I've had, they were hovers. And I've had them for like a little over a year. But I guess I walk kind of hard because like they definitely wore down like the same spot like on the sole. And now there's like a teeny tiny hole in the bottom of the sole of my shoe. So when I was walking today, it was raining. So as I was walking, I was like, why does my foot feel wet? My foot was freaking soaking wet because there's like a teeny tiny hole in the bottom of my freaking sole. Under Armour never lasts me. Never lasts for you. Under Armours are the only shoe that lasts for me. The only shoe that will at least give me like at least a year out of them. Johnny Boy said they never last for him. Yeah. Under Armours last for me longer than any other shoe. Do either of you lift weights? I used to, not anymore. No. I used to lift weights. I don't anymore. I have to get back to it. When I tell you my biggest struggle when it came to like uh, getting muscle was the weight part. I was huge into weights. I, I don't. I'm, I, I was big into weights and I just gave it up. I would force myself to do it. Poka shoes are pricey and are walk are like walking on clouds. I have to give Hoka. I didn't get Hoka. I did. I got a pair of Hokas, ran through the rain. And, and you didn't like them. Didn't like them, but I didn't like them because of the. Uh, I guess I had crappy. This is back when I wore socks, and I want to give Hoka another shot now that I don't wear socks. So, but everybody swears by Hoka. Sacconi has good cushioning. I had Sacconis in school, but they, I don't think they were. I've right. never had Sacconis. <clears throat> What's up, Mama uh, my Lama? first pair of sneakers that I bought when I started working out for the first time back in like 2017, 2018 <sighs> was Under Armour and I bought this pair of shoes and they were discounted they were like 40 bucks discounted from like 100 and <sighs> I think 20 and these were like the best shoe ever and I cannot find any shoe like it and the only reason I got rid of them, the sole did not wear out. It was the part, like it was like the top part, like the mesh part, like my toenail, like kept rubbing back and forth as I was working out. And I created a huge hole on the top mesh part. And that's the only reason I got rid of them. But those were like the best shoe I ever had. Yeah. Those gray and like- Basics. Gray and like baby blue Under Armour. Mama Lama, I, think I, I, got I ate them already. At, I think I got them at Bob's. I've been done for like 15 minutes. I got them at Bob's and they were on clearance. Best shoe I've ever had. Best shoe I've ever had. Can never find a shoe just like it. Even the other Under Armour brand like that I've had, like. Mm. But you know what, Mama? Not the same. Lama? Not the same. If you saw what I made tonight, you would understand why I gobbled it up so quick. Delicious. And then for Asics, I bought a pair last year for work. I think I wore them. I don't know, I wore them for like a week. 
and then it just not my shoe. Your husband swears by on clouds. On clouds. I keep on seeing them on Instagram. Oh, it's like a brand. Yeah. yeah. See, they, they, I have to like the way I have to like the way they look, and the way they feel. And if, and, you know, um, I remember the first pair of shoes that I settled for, and I really didn't. I wasn't crazy for the way they looked was the, my Brooks, the black and the blue, the blue bottoms. But I wore them for, not last winter, the winter before that. Uh, you'll definitely want to catch the replay. Oh, we got some bots in Oh, there's in there. bots in there. Uh, I twisted my knee a couple years ago and went to a physical therapist. Told me the best thing I could do is walk backwards to strengthen my knee. It really helped. Very good. Walk backwards to strengthen. How does that work? Walking backwards? Are we together? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm done. I'm not eating anymore. I'm full. Where's your food? I ate it already. I ate it. I, um, I had strawberry shortcake stuffed French toast. So if anybody wanted to see what I made tonight, it's posted on TikTok. So don't be shy. Let me know if you would eat it or you would have to pass. It was delicious. 9.8. 9.8. Tomorrow, pretty sure it's going to be some sort of pasta, but not with red sauce. In your opinion, is keto necessary? Um, I think I think for certain people, if it works for them, they should do it. If they get if they like it, they should do it. I think every diet, you know, if the person likes it and it's not hurting and anybody, it works why for not? Them, then they should do it, and that's the end of the story. Like, we're not gonna sit here and be like, don't do that or do this instead. No. I know, we're, not, we're not gonna say that. I know a lot of people that did keto, um, you know, and says it works for them. So, and nine out of ten times, they'll. This is from the experience I've had with talking to people that does keto. They like it because they're seeing results, and then they start to miss the carbs. And they slowly go back. So, and then they gain the weight back. And then they, they say they're going to start up again, but now they, they're they dreading to start it up again. So, I think, you know, when starting a new diet, you should test the waters a little bit. Don't jump full on in. Yeah. Dip your feet in. See if it's something Dip you can Dip your feet in. Sustain. See if you can do it. See if you can do it for a long time. Well... In your opinion, is keto necessary? Well, that's what I, I just I just answered just that. Answered Peggy, that. It's the same question. <laughs> I know. The question, but they said it more than once. No, they didn't. Oh no, you're right. You're sorry. Sorry. All right, we're both tired. She, I think she might what? be drunk. I'm not. We'll drunk. talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm just tired. It's okay, Kat. Actually, mm -hmm. <laughs> good night, guys. Yeah, that's right. You 